one thing that I love about entertaining is punches because they're super simple. You can make them ahead of time. They serve a lot of people and you do not have to be bartender all night. So this is why my preferred way to entertain is always punches. Like I said, if you go over to the Beautiful Booze site or on my Instagram account, you will see that I love punches. So one thing that is super fun about the holidays is making everything festive. So what I've done with this punch is about 24 hours ahead of time, I prepared an ice ring. So for y'all that aren't familiar with an ice ring, it's a super fun way to chill down your punch. So what we have here is the ice ring. So on this side, you will see, you can kind of see that I've frozen some lime in here. I've also got cranberries that I've frozen in here. And what, how I made this ice ring is I just went to a local thrift store and I bought one of these. They're actually cake butt pans. So what you do is you just put whatever you want. You can put herbs, you can put fruit. So in, in the case for this cherry cherry punch, I added some cranberries, fresh cranberries, some lime slices, added some water, and then just froze it in the freezer for 24 hours. Then what I did is I just ran some hot water over the top and it just came out just like this. So the other reason that I really love punch rings is that they're going to chill your punch, but they're not gonna water down your punch. So this will take a long time to melt. Whereas if you get like a bag of ice or ice from your freezer, um, it's gonna melt very fast and it can cause more dilution into your punch. So using this punch ring is really gonna keep your punch cold and it's really gonna help you be able to make it ahead of time and it's gonna sit and be cold, but it's not gonna dilute so fast. So that's the first step of the punch. So um, you can just go ahead, put in your punch ring. I like using this side of it, the cranberry side, because it's more festive and you can see the cranberries. And I've just got a regular punch bowl here. Now that punches have become more popular, it's super easy to find um, a punch bowl. I'm gonna show you one that I have over here, another one. Now these are more of the retro punch bowls, and these you can really find at secondhand stores, antique stores, thrift stores. They're in almost every one I go into. So it's a really easy way to buy something festive that you can use for punches. So um, after we've got our ice ring in, we're just gonna go ahead and put in all the ingredients of our punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what those are. So I'm using vodka today, um, one bottle of vodka. We're also using a cup of cranberry juice. We're using a half a cup of fresh lime juice and then another half a cup of simple syrup. In addition to that, we're gonna to be topping it with the cherry limeade flavor of the sparkling ice. This is very festive and it'll get a very bubbly um, result to the punch. So that's it, that's all the ingredients. You put that in, mix it up, and that's it. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with our vodka. So I'm using an entire bottle of vodka in this punch. We're gonna get really festive for the party. We're gonna pour that right on in. Okay. After that, we're gonna do one cup of our cranberry juice. This is gonna give like some sweetness, but a really tart flavor to the punch. Then our next ingredient is gonna be the fresh lime juice. And this is really to complement the limeade flavor and the sparkling ice, and it gives the punch a real citrus bite. So we'll go ahead and pour that in. Then to round everything out, um, we're gonna be putting in a half a cup of simple syrup. And for those of you that don't know about simple syrup, um, I'm gonna talk just a second about it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, simple syrup is just a sugar and a water mixture. So if you wanna make it at home, it's super easy. So you take one cup of sugar to two cups of water. That's really the formula for that. So you put in the two cups of water, put in your cup of sugar into a medium saucepan on medium heat, and you just stir that until your sugar actually dissolves into the water. After it dissolves in the water, you just take it off the stove and your simple syrup is done. If you don't wanna bother with making the syrup, then you can just buy it. And also, um, 
on that note, just for an entertaining tip, if you want to um, make your syrups more festive, you can in that cooking stage where this where the sugar is dissolving into the water, you can actually add herbs, you could add cranberries, you could add fruit, you can add anything you want to make a festive syrup. That's just an entertaining tip. Um, but in this particular recipe, because we've added the cranberry juice and because we're topping it already with the really nice sparkling ice cherry limeade, we're just going to use a plain simple syrup. So a half a cup of that is going to go in next. Once we've got this going in here, um, we are going to go, I'm, on, on this one I haven't made a flavor of the simple syrup, it's just a regular one. But like I said, you can make a festive one. What I like about punches is that it's a formula that's really easy for punches. You pick whatever kind of bottle of spirit you like. I chose vodka, but you can also choose rum. You can choose tequila, whatever you really like. Then um, you want to add some kind of citrus juice. You can add lemon, you can add lime, you can add orange you can add whatever you want and then you want to add like some kind of juice pineapple cranberry in this case and then top it off with the, any flavor of the sparkling ice to kind of round out your theme i'm doing more of a cranberry lime and cherry theme for the cherry cherry punch but with the whole line of sparkling ice obviously there are so many flavor combinations that would be amazing for the punch um so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and top this off with the cherry limeade. And we're just gonna use um, three bottles of this. And the color is really great. Um, the cranberry juice gives it color, but also the beautiful color of this sparkling ice. Um, it's so festive. So we'll just get that going in there. And if you guys, yes, this is so good for holiday parties and you guys can see how simple this really is. I mean, the punch is the way to go. You don't have to worry about um, running out of ice for drinks. You don't have to worry about constantly making drinks. You don't have to take everyone's order. Um, you know, you can make two or three of these if you're having a big party and it's super easy. So, um, two questions, Natalie. Yes, questions. What, what do you use if you don't use alcohol because you don't drink from Ruby yeah. So this, um, is a question that comes up all the time. Um, a lot of my drinks on Beautiful Booze can be made into what people call mocktails. And this punch is a great way to make a mocktail. I mean, you could leave out the alcohol and then everybody of all ages could enjoy it, even people that aren't drinking. Um, so what you can just do is you can just leave out the vodka and um, the recipe would be you would just add a little bit more of the cranberry juice and then a little bit like another bottle of the sparkling ice and that will still give you with the simple syrup and the cranberry juice and the sparkling ice and the lime juice it will still give you a rounded flavor so that that's what i really love about punch recipes too is it's a really easy substitution to leave the vodka out and Rachelyn wanted to know, can you use any flavor of sparkling ice? For this recipe, um, like I said, the formula for punch is really easy. You just have to pick your spirit. You could do vodka. You could do lime juice like I did, um, the cranberry juice. And then, yes, you could top it off with any flavor of sparkling ice. Um, if the flavor didn't sound so complimentary with the cranberry juice I added, you could definitely just switch out the cranberry juice to like pineapple or orange juice or apple juice or something that was complimentary to the sparkling ice flavor. But um, I think that the base of this punch is so good that you probably could add any flavor of sparkling ice. So what was it again? What is the punch for all the people that have just joined? Oh, so for those of you that have just joined, um, I'm Natalie from Beautiful Booze, and I am happy to be here on the Sparkling Ice account making my Cherry Cherry Punch. And it's made with vodka, cranberry juice, lime juice, simple syrup, and um, the cherry limeade sparkling ice. So what I've done so far is mix that up. 
with a special ice ring that I froze yesterday. So I would have it here. And we've got all the ingredients now into the punch. And what I'm gonna do is just give it a quick little stir, just so we can let those flavors marry. Okay. And WW15 Mammy wants to know, what would be a good combo for a punch using the peppermint twist vodka? Oh, hmm. So using the peppermint twist vodka, I actually did use that last year, and I, I actually think um, because I made a cranberry, I made a cranberry cocktail with the peppermint, and I love the tangy with the mint flavor, um, and because I think that mint pairs really, really well with lime juice. Also, that's why they make mojitos and daiquiris and things like that with. Um, I would definitely just substitute out the um, plain vodka for the peppermint twist. That I think that would be really good because I think the cherry flavors and the um, lime flavors would be really good with the, with the mint. Um, you could also, for the peppermint, you could also just do something with um, maybe like an orangey mint, like a citrus mint too, where you, maybe you would switch out the cranberry juice for orange juice. Um, but I do think that this base punch with the cranberry, a lot of different um, spirits could be transitioned in and out. So when I did make a cranberry cocktail with the peppermint twist last year, it was amazing. So I would try that one. Any more questions before we get going on the garnish? Anything else? Okay, so now um, this is my favorite part to make it even more festive. We're just going to go ahead and put on some, um, all kinds of garnishes, some of my favorite garnishes. So, um, what I'm doing is I, I'm going to do some complimentary garnishes. So, because the ice wheel has, uh, the ice ring, ice wheel has so many cranberries in it, you can put in more cranberries, but I, I'm going to put in more cranberries because I like dipping out the punch and then every glass is getting a little bit of that garnish, a little bit of those cranberries. So we're going to put in, you know, maybe just like a half a cup of cranberries for the garnish. Make it a little more festive and when people are walking around with their cups, they're going to have some cranberries in there and it's going to look really pretty. Whoops. It's going to look really pretty with additional red. Um, Next, what we're going to do is, um, complimentary to the cherry limeade, I've just cut up some limes and right off the bat, citrus is, just for a tip, um, citrus is a great thing to garnish with, but it also makes a huge difference in cocktails and punches. Like I said, when I um, put in the lime juice, it's fresh squeezed lime juice, it's a half a cup. It does not take that much effort just to squeeze a half a cup of lime juice. And I'm telling you, fresh lemon and fresh lime juice makes 100% difference in the way that your cocktails taste. That is like my number one cocktail tip, and it stands true to this. You can tell the difference between like a purchased lime juice, a purchased lemon juice, and fresh. So that's my first thing. And the second thing is, is citrus, well, right now citrus is pretty cheap like um, whole limes and whole lemons tend to be pretty cheap so it's a good cheap garnish and a good way to make your cocktails and punches quality so we're just gonna lay in these slices this is like a couple of limes sliced to, to give it that green festive color here so there we go with that. And then the last thing, and this wasn't on my original recipe, but if you looked at my feed yesterday and saw the completed punch on there, I did add some fresh herbs. And I chose to do thyme because I really love the festive nature of it. But you could also do whatever you love, like mint would be great in here, rosemary. Um, I'm just doing thyme because I love it. I love the way it looks and it's super, um, super seasonal right now. So um, what I'm going to do is just take some sprigs of thyme and put them to really round out how the punch looks in the garnishing. And garnishing, like I said, is a really cheap way to make a difference, like make your drinks look super visually appealing. Um, so I always try to, you know, people, people buy with their eyes. So 
obviously something that looks good. I mean, every time I'm in a restaurant and I see a cocktail like garnished amazing, I'm like, I want that drink. So you want your guests to feel the same way when they come over to your house and they have um, a super festive punch with the amazing garnish. It, it looks too good to drink. So now that we've got the time all rounded out there, you will see that um, the punch is now totally completed. So this is the final product here. And you saw how easy that was. I mean, during the whole demonstration, I was giving you, you all tips and everything to make your life easier, but condensing that down if you're making this at home, I mean, I would say besides the, the ice ring, it's only going to take you five minutes to make this and you can sit it out and it can just sit there until your guests arrive. Like I said, you can purchase these punch bowls for super cheap and easily at a lot of different stores these days um, and it's super fun. So then when your guests arrive, you can go ahead and offer them a signature drink with some time and look at this beautiful color. I mean, this is like holidays in a glass. And I'll go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I want to thank everyone at Sparkling Ice for allowing me to come on and share my love for cocktails and entertaining and letting me speak about my Cherry Cherry Punch. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Happy holidays. I hope you guys make the punch. Bye.